Hey guys, so today we're gonna do a chatty chit chat get ready with me kind of thing and we're just literally gonna just jump straight into it. Ton of stuff to do today. So I've already moisturized and primed my eyes. I'm using the Meat Matrimony palette by the bone. So this weekend has just been crazy because it was my son's birthday on Friday, it was my birthday on Sunday. I didn't do anything for my birthday, but we had the family round for his birthday. On top of that, it was bank holiday Monday yesterday. By the time this goes up, it's not. it would have been a few days ago. The kids have had the run of the house from basically Friday evening to yesterday and the house is completely a mess and God knows that on my birthday I wasn't trying to tidy up nothing just let them do what they're doing you understand let them do what they're doing today I'm gonna have to tidy up now on top of that my mum as lovely as she is bought my kids a bouncy castle so even though they have a big room it's it's kind of it's great for them but it's like it just takes up so much room so all of their toys is kind of like just shoved into one corner while this bouncy castle has basically just taken over it's, it's just crazy so now i'm going to have to figure out how i'm going to um rearrange that room so that it can try to accommodate this bloody bouncy castle but i ain't going to do that today i'm just going to tidy up the rest of the house and some other stuff now as you can see by the title it says you know why am I so tired or something to that effect recently well no not recently let's not let's just give it 100 over the past 40 years or so I've been feeling like I'm overly tired like all the time I'm just constantly tired and I just don't understand why and I'm finding it really irritating because it's like no matter how much sleep I get I feel feel tired once it hits about eight o'clock in the evening that's it I'm, I'm ready to sleep I'm 29 years old I should not be feeling like that so I think I think I'm gonna have to go to the doctors and find out like is there something that I'm doing wrong? Is there something that I can take? Is there something that I can change? So that I'm not feeling so tired all the time. And the thing is, somebody said to me, somebody asked me, oh, how are you doing? This was probably like a couple of weeks ago. Somebody asked me, oh, how are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired. And then they, they laughed and they said, oh, but you always feel tired. I was like, huh? They're like, yeah, whenever I talk to you, you say that you're tired. I don't know about you, but I know that generally speaking, it's a thing where people will notice things about you before you notice things about you. Like when people say, oh, I've noticed that you've lost some weight and you're kind of like, have I? They're like, yeah, you've lost some weight. But because you haven't been checking for it, you haven't noticed it yourself yet. People tend to notice things about you before you notice things about you, just sometimes. And then I spoke to somebody else and they said the exact same thing. You're always tired. You always say that you're tired. And I'm like, well, it must be true then. But I've already noticed it myself. So how long have they noticed it? And it's kind of, it's kind of scary because how long did I not notice it before they noticed it? But all I know is that I'm, I'm tired of being tired. So I need to fix it. So I'm gonna have to go to the doctor or something and find out like, why is it that I am so tired all the time? It's normal to be tired when you have kids. It's so normal, but I have plenty of time to catch up on my sleep. I only really wanna get up. It's like, okay, I work from home, whatever. I get to just, I pick when I want to work kind of thing. So the only person who's really gonna suffer if I don't work is me. I get my work done. And then from there, I just feel like, I'll catch up on my sleep but even still I feel tired so I need I need to fix it and that's that kind of thing on top of that today aside from trying to fix the house I'm also gonna try and shoot a couple more videos because if I'm honest I really do like shooting um, YouTube videos before oh that turned out nice it was like when I used to do videos in 2015 because that's when I actually started this channel it was like June 2015 and I did a handful of videos 
right? But they weren't the kind of videos that I wanted to make. They were pink parcel and glossy box unboxings and that's all well and good, but it's not what I really wanted to create. So I kind of stopped creating altogether, which probably wasn't the best idea. I should have just continued on, like stop with the unboxings and just do makeup and reviews and this and that and the other like I actually wanted to. But there was me saying, no, I don't have the best camera, I don't have backdrops, I don't have, and I don't have, and I don't have, so I'm not gonna do it. And it's just kind of like, but here I am in 2017, still using the same laptop camera, still no backdrop, I'm just using my blank wall. Yeah, you can see like my, some stuff in the background. I really don't care. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do, which is make the videos that I wanna make and hopefully as time goes by i'll be able to invest in backdrops and better camera equipment and this that and the other but right now that's just not the case right now it's just not what i can I, I just can't afford to do all of that stuff so i'm not going to make myself feel bad about it i'm just gonna do what i want to do one day i'll be able to afford all of that stuff and have like glitzy glamorous kind of stuff but at the same time i still want to just be who i am just like what i am doing right now so but what i noticed is that when i was doing the unboxings and stuff I noticed that it would take me absolutely ages before I would sit down and edit and that was because I hated editing. Even still now, editing isn't my favourite part and I don't really, there's not tons of stuff to edit because all I'm really doing is cutting out some of the awkward pauses and the um, uh, mm, whatever. That's all I'm really doing is just cutting out all the awkward bits. Everything else just stays in. If I could get away with just uploading just like this, like without having to cut anything, that's exactly what I would do. But then I wouldn't feel like, this wouldn't be what I want to be out there. So, but yeah, so because I wasn't making the right kind of content, I just never really wanted to upload. I never really wanted to sit there and do the editing because I knew that it just wasn't what I really wanted to put out there. So I just stop altogether and I kind of wish that I hadn't I kind of wish that I just continued on but just by saying you know what you don't have all the best equipment you don't have you don't have everything the way you want but just do the makeup like you want to do it just do it there's me thinking you have to have all the best stuff you just don't you're allowed to start at the bottom but well, we all have to start at the bottom but as we know YouTube has been changing dramatically and I think everybody talks about this whole YouTube changing the whole YouTube the advertisers pulling their ads from YouTube and it's making it harder for creators to make money and stuff like that and I feel like there's only really a certain there's certain types of YouTube creators who are mainly being targeted and it's like if you create news channels anything kind of controversial if you have anything that like if you swear a lot in your videos if you create hate videos talk about sexual stuff a lot even down to being you know about your sexuality and stuff it's people are finding it harder to like they're being penalized for having certain types of of content and i really kind of feel bad because well, not that I feel bad, but because it's not me who's done anything. But it's kind of, I understand both sides of, of, of the point. If I was an advertiser, I wouldn't want my, my ads associated with a channel or showing up on a channel that spurs on hate speech or anything. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I would feel anyway. I don't want it associated to anything which is, you know, anything hateful, racist. No, I don't want, I wouldn't. I wouldn't but at the same time I wouldn't say oh I don't want it associated with somebody who talks about being gay being gay isn't my sexual preference but I'm gonna I'm not gonna knock the next person for their sexuality and talking about what they have experienced in their life do, do you know what I'm saying and it's the same with the whole news thing as well it's like natural disasters and terrorism and all of that stuff there it happens and there are people who who report on it on YouTube. Sometimes they might give their opinion, sometimes they might not. But reporting on the news, I don't feel like is something that people should be penalized for doing. I really don't, but that's just my opinion. If if somebody was demonetized for having a certain type of video, they can get it, they can appeal and try and get it re-monetized. But I think that just having, having that up for debate in the first place is kind of out of order. 
but that's just my opinion you know what i'm saying i don't this is this isn't my platform this is this is youtube i don't own it i don't have the right to say well they have to do this and they have to do I, I can't say nothing it's not my platform they make the rules and it's either i follow them or i don't and if i don't well then you're not going to reap the benefits of you know what youtube has to offer so you kind of have to either like it or lump it you can say something duh but i think it's kind of sad that we're now at this point but at the same time you, they do need to have some kind of policing on youtube i feel like if there are videos or channels that just constantly spur on hate speech and stuff like that then you need to make sure that they don't even exist on youtube like it's crazy but in saying that that brings me to lovely t i was watching her videos if you don't know who lovely t is she does like she does videos where she'll talk about pop culture celebrities and stuff like that and she made a video it was like 35 minutes long she doesn't usually make videos that long so when i saw the video i was kind of i know she's gonna have something to say and she was talking about how since the whole issue of youtube has been going on you know she's created a patreon and she has over 400,000 um subscribers subscribers but she's only got like 100 and it was under 200 patreons and a patreon is basically a page where people can come and donate money to their youtuber or whoever it is obviously we're talking about youtube so it's a youtuber out of 400 over 400,000 people only like a hundred and something became patrons to her page and there's kind of like an issue there because why would, how is it that you only get under 200 when you have over 400,000 people on your, on your YouTube? It's crazy. So she was saying, so this is just a primer. This is the Nivea primer that I've done a video about before. Well, I've done two now because there's two different kinds and this one's a normal two combination. She was saying that, look, I don't understand how I can only really have this amount of people who are, being patreons but at the same time it's kind of like well not everybody is able to give and there's a lot of people who are going to feel like well you get youtube money so why should i have to give you money here as well a point was made where basically i think one of her her friends who's also a youtuber was saying well look there are white youtubers who get um who have a hell of a lot less youtube followers who have patreons and they have more patreons does that make sense so this guy apparently has like 300,000 but he has 300,000 followers but has over 1,500 patreons how does that work if she's got over 400,000 followers but only has under 200 patreons so they tried to make the argument that well no they did make the argument that black people don't support one another in the youtube world and it's like well that's a lot of the time people make that argument with a lot of things not just in the youtube world and i think that was a point that they made as well like we don't put our money back into our community and and that i think can be true but at the same time there's no obligation to and i know you might think oh that's kind of like harsh to say and yeah i guess you can think that it's a bit harsh to say but where i choose to spend my money is where i choose to spend my money and if it goes into a black person's pocket then that's what it is and if it goes into a white person's pocket that's what it is and if it goes into a chinese person's pocket then that's what it is because I'm allowed to choose where I spend my money everyone's allowed to choose where they spend their money like once you earn it once you have it you can spend it however you want then she went on to um to show us her emails because apparently she gets a lot of death threats and when I saw it oh my god it's so messed up she gets tons every single day talking about she's an n-word get off of youtube you n-word there's people doxing her they're making really bad pictures of her like they photoshopped her beat up dead and it was horrible it was so bad like who does that to someone who sits there and takes pictures of someone off of the net replaces their eyes with black eyes replaces their like puts puts like cuts and bruises all over their body or all over their face whatever and who does that like you've got way too much time on your hand if you can send or if you can sit there and make pictures of somebody in such a manner like you're like you've got problems and the thing is 
she was showing it where like the same email address keeps on emailing her saying you effing this and you n word that and you be this and da 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 and I'm going to kill you and your son and I'm going to lynch you and I'm like it's like over and over and over again and she's like this is just today what what who sits there and does that and it was just repeated over and over and over again like somebody is really obsessed somebody is obsessed i don't know about people getting death threats and stuff like that like people who are youtubers i've heard of youtubers who get death threats but to see it lord because when you when you think about or when i think about somebody potentially getting a death threat right I don't think it's repeated. I would think that, oh, somebody's probably sent one or two, say, I'm gonna kill you, this, that, the other, and that's it. No, 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 not with this girl anyway. Somebody's on her case. Somebody is on her case. I feel scared for her. I feel afraid for her and her and her child or children. Like, I don't know how she's how she's continuing on. Now she did say that, look, these email addresses, I just, I just, I've set them to spam because I can't keep on going into my email and seeing this stuff every single day. So I've just set it to spam. So a lot of them I don't see anymore, which is obviously, yes, the best thing to do. So I'm using the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit and I've just used Fair under my eyes and I'm about to use Java for my contour. But when people are making threats on your kids, bruh. And the thing is, because you don't know who it is, where it's coming from, because she has over 400,000 followers. I mean, you can't put faces to all of these people. But she was also saying that, look, there's probably some of you who are genuine, who send me emails asking for help, asking me certain questions. And I can't email you back because I don't really know who's genuine and who's not. I don't know if it's gonna be someone who's going to be starting a conversation with me and then two twos, bam, they're gonna start all of the, the, the racial hatred and start saying this, that and the other. And I can completely understand her, completely. I feel like, oh, and she's being doxxed as well. And it's like, oh, for heaven's sake, there's some people who really have too much time on their hands. Go and make money, go and make some money. You're worried about this girl and it's like, why? Because she's black. Go and make some money. Sitting here cussing out people because of color. This. Like you really have to have some problems with you. If you have to sit there all day using all of your time that you could be doing, you could be out there making your own business. You could be out there working. You could be doing so many other things with your, with your time, but you're there worrying about this girl who's there on her own grind and making her own money. If you don't like her, just leave her alone. Why is that so difficult? But I do feel like to a degree, they are kind of not winning, it's getting to her because they have been trying to hack her Twitter and hack this, that and the other. And so she just shut it down. And there was something else that she shut down, like her Facebook or her Instagram or something like that. She, she shut her other things down. And it's all because she's tired of the hate and tired of all of this foolishness that keeps on coming her way and I kind of don't blame her but then what she went into saying next was that look and all I'm really asking from you guys is like a few dollars per month on Patreon I can't even get that but that's where I have to kind of say no because I don't see how death threats correlate to money on Patreon it doesn't because if you get donations on Patreon, it doesn't stop the death threats from happening. You're still gonna get the death threats. It's still gonna happen, unfortunately, but it's still gonna happen. So we can't really put those two things in the same boat because they're not the same. Now, what I do respect about her, that she'll say, look, I make, I sit here all day, I make gifts, I'm here and I edit all my own videos. I also, like she, she has, um, like she doesn't just do uh, YouTube, she's like a dancer and she does videos, but not like booty shaking, twerking, like real dance routines with a dance squad kind of thing. Overall, I feel like this is just a girl who's out to go and get her life. You know what I'm saying? She's out there to go and get her life. And I respect that to the 
highest. Seriously, I respect that. I can't, I can't knock anyone who's doing their thing like she's doing her thing. Sorry, I just had to go off camera and do my eyeliner and mascara because uh, it would have just been silence otherwise. <laughs> yeah, so she is somebody that I definitely respect. I don't watch her videos like religiously, but if I am going to watch like a gossip or celebrity pop culture, celebrity gossip kind of thing, I would normally go to her channel to watch it. I guess overall maybe the message wasn't wasn't that you know well if you're black support me but I guess it was more so about the fact that we don't support each other enough but then when other people of other races are asked to support their brothers and sisters there's no questions asked but with us it's always kind of like reserved and again maybe that is the truth and I find that because this point is made quite often not just in YouTube quite a lot of different situations and scenarios maybe it is maybe it is the truth maybe we don't just fling our money here there and everywhere but we don't like everybody's situation is different I, I didn't even know she had a patreon until I watched this video and even though I feel bad for her the doxing the death threats and whatnot i'm not in the position to be able to financially donate money to somebody else i'm just not at that point where i can just say you know what otherwise i probably would i'm trying to make sure that ends me in mine before i start helping somebody else to do theirs charity starts at home that's how i definitely feel charity starts at home first that's no shade or anything to anybody but doesn't take away from the fact that I think it's so bang out of order that she is being targeted in such a bloody way. It's so upsetting. Who has time to, oh, and I really, it's like right now I feel myself getting annoyed and I guess that's the only really, that's the only feeling that I can get at this moment in time because obviously it's not happening to me. I'm not having to go through what she's going through right this minute. But it's an annoying situation because it's kind of like, if it can happen to her, it can happen to anyone. And you put yourself out there, which is a hard thing to do as is. And all she really wants to do is bring everybody the tea, as she says. Bring everybody the tea. And she's very good at it. She researches. She gets her, she'll go to Twitter, she'll get all of the evidence and get everybody's captions and tweets and Instagrams and responses and this and that. And she, she puts in the work and then she, to hear that she makes her own gifts as well. And some of them are funny. So when she actually takes the time out to make those gifts, and she uses quite a few of them in her videos as well. It's like, she really goes above and beyond for her work. Like, I can't, I can't knock her work ethic at all. I can't. I'm happy to give her the views. What else do I need to do? Lips. See, my, oh my gosh. My vanity right now, I have like a big vanity. Like, and no, it's not the Alex draw stuff. I didn't want to do all of that because everybody has the Ikea Alex drawers. Everybody, everyone has the Ikea Alex drawers. I didn't want them because everybody else has it. So I bought this, I guess it is like a, a well, it's a vanity now, but it was like a small console kind of thing off of eBay for like, 20 pounds and i saw that the person lived right next to me but this was after i bought it so we went down there picked it up <laughs> i made my boyfriend at the time kind of like carry it well no i didn't make him but he didn't want to um it has wheels so we could have just rolled it he didn't want to roll it because he's like uh, it's too much noise i don't want people to look at me and i was just kind of like for fuck's sake <sighs> it's not that big of a deal like can we just get it over and over so he just decided you know what i'm just gonna pick it up and i'm going to carry it so he carried it all the way home <laughs> and then i painted it gold so now i've got these two huge acrylic makeup organizers one on one side one on the other and one of them is just full of lip lipstick lip pencils no two of them are actually full of it but one of them is like overflowing to the point where it's like I can't even pull the drawer out. It's, it's ridiculous. Ooh, should I do this one? This is marshmallow. Okay, let's go with it. Oh, that's cute. It's so cute. I mean, I really want to do a vanity tour or like makeup collection, that's it. Because I think you'd like my makeup collection, but I really need to get it in order because 
right now everything is all over the place everything is just like all over the bloody place so this is the final look i'm gonna go and like lay my baby hairs and stuff like that and let's get on with my day so if you made it to the end of this video thank god <laughs> and i really do rate you and commend you i'm gonna leave lovely tea's channel link down below and definitely do check her out because i do feel like she's one of those people who she's very very real about you know with the videos that she makes and she gives you her opinions and i'm one of those kind of people who i don't always agree with her opinions but because she's so real about it all i can really do is respect her a lot of the time i do agree with the things that she says sometimes i don't and that's just human nature it doesn't stop how much respect i have for her so wherever you are make sure you're having a great day go and make your money so if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and make sure you share this video and i'll see you in the next one bye